What's up guys, welcome along to another day of turning pound coins into hydrocarbons. So thanks for joining us today guys. We are back out of Brands Hatch Grand Prix track for the biggest track day of the year for us. Uh, there is 12 of us all in the same garage together, all friends. So really, really big day for us all to get out. Slightly different format to the video today. We're gonna run for a super quick debrief first. Then I'll take you for an onboard lap, walk you around the pits and show you the machines that are in the garage. Uh, then give you the best session of the day. This old 14B against a 2CR, modern R1. And then finish the day off showing you an onboard of my best lap of the day. So we had a spectacular day. The day was four groups, six sessions, advanced, two inters and a novice. I was back in the advanced group for only the second time ever. Really pleased I went for that. No red flags at all compared to last year when we was here, where we had nothing but red flags all day. Weather was spectacular. Um, there was a big spill of oil into clearways, but the marshals dealt with that and cleared that up pretty quickly. There was just a lot of cement dust, which you know doesn't do you confidence good going into that corner. And it's the first time I've been back to the same track with the R1. Now I've managed to chip nine seconds off of the best lap time of the day, uh, averaging consistently a 145. Best lap was a 144. Just to give you an idea of how steady that is, that's actually around 20 seconds still slower than the BSB record. So those guys are not hanging around. But I was pleased enough with that. The bike definitely needs a new set of tires. The rear tire is worn away all the wear markers now on the drive portion of the tire. And that, lap, and that quicker lap time was after these tires had actually done two additional track days. So I was pleased enough with that. I'm not chasing lap times anyway. It's about going and having a laugh with your mates, which was super. As you'll see from the walk around at lunchtime, loads of different bikes, everyone was split into different groups, different abilities, different machines. So it was just a really good fun day out for everyone to be there together. Bike was good, headstock bearings have all been sorted. If you've not seen that video, check that out. But the headstock bearings are all good. Track control light was still on. I didn't have a chance to get around to looking at that before we went. Again, I wasn't too bothered because we just switch it off and it's just not operational then. So if you do enjoy the content, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to help the channel out, bring you some more videos like this. Let's get on with the day and I hope you enjoy. Here we are then, I'm going to talk you around a lap of the Brands Hatch Grand Prix track. First off, I just want to apologise for the poor quality audio. Normally the helmet mic works perfectly when it's connected directly to the camera. Lesson learned from today is it's not so great when plugged directly into the transmitter. However, hopefully this raw audio will give you a bit more of an idea of what it takes for a mildly overweight middle-aged man to ride 1,000cc superbike round Brandsat Grand Prix track at a relatively steady pace. So enjoy. Carefully riding it through. Stand away across the line. Looking for the white line. Brakes, two gears, back to third. Off the brakes, tip it in, hit the apex and drive it hard through the compression, hold it in third, brakes down the second nice and early, off the brakes, get around Druids, don't use the full width of the track, drive it hard, hold it in second, down to gravel bend, nice early, standing the bike up to fire it out. to third, back to second, late apex, turn it tight, drive it hard. All out to sixth gear, and hard on the brakes, back turns to all forms, tip her in, late apex, bit wide there, hard on the gas, out to the exit curb. Break and back second, let's build, driving it a half camera corner, pull it back, drive it for in third, back on the brakes into this tricky dingle dell, back to second, round Sterling's was a lovely corner, 
been resurfaced and got bad bumps in the middle of it there. Up to fourth. And then hard on the brakes, back to third. Through clearways. Like we say, a bit ginger through there today. Back over the line. Up to fifth gear. So we've had some morning sessions, we are now at lunchtime. We'll just take you for a quick wander around the garage. We're out here, all, all the people in both these garages uh, we all know each other today. So we'll take you for a wander around and show you some of the bikes. We have got a 2017 R1, which has been on the channel before. Done some work to that a little while ago. A load of gear and people. We've got a 2009 GSXR 1000. Lovely old TZR 250. Bit of nostalgia there for you. RSV4 RF or not? Factory. Factory. 2011. Best bike here. Best bike here, when it works. <laughs> Do you know what year the S-Rad is? Not, 90, 99. 90, 99. 99 S Rad 750 with a few little bits and pieces on there. A little uh, Costa Coffee Master Cylinder on there, a little cheeky Master Cylinder. Kawasaki ZX6R. Move over the other side of the garage. Got this lovely Ducati. Another S Rad. This one's actually a 600 although it's still badged as a 750. K6000 GSX-R, 2010 CBR 600. Is it 2010? I think it is, isn't it? Castrol Rep. And the R1, which we've seen before. And this beautiful Honda Hornet here, sporting the Turkish flag as the guy actually grew up in the same village as Top Rack. That's it guys, we've had the morning session, lunch time, all had a bit of food, chilled out a bit. We're gonna go and get ready and go and have a little battle out on track for the afternoon. Here we go then guys, best on board session of the day, 2CR R1 versus 14B. Let's see how they get on. Now I apologize for the sound quality on the Insta360. It's not my camera, so we're still fiddling around with some settings, but you get the gist of what's happening. So sit back and enjoy.
really pleased with how my R1 stacked up against the newer 2CR and also against some other bikes, plenty of performance down the straights. Now confession time, the lad on the 2CR is actually a couple of seconds quicker. The rest of the day when he was in front, I couldn't keep pace with him. However, as you can see from that session, a big part of the track days is getting through the traffic. So I hope you enjoyed the onboard there. We will now stay on board with myself for my personal best lap of the day.